Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we are once again back down at the uh, site for the off-grid cabin. Now, I've still got the chipper on the back of the tractor, but I need to switch over to the backhoe. But, as you recall, I've been doing some work on the trail here to try to make this uh, more passable because the ground was pretty soft. So we've got a few good sized loads down in here, but I wanna put one more load in, in this spot here before I actually switch back over to the backhoe. So let's get the tractor into position so we can start blowing this stuff into the trailer and get that additional load onto the trail. These are pretty small pieces that I'm gonna be putting through, so it'll take a while to actually get this trailer full. Well, that's quite a pile of chips we've put in here. We'll go take the chipper off, get the uh, backhoe back on the tractor, and then look at getting the tractor down here and see how well it does. But first we'll have lunch. All right, let's go. All right, folks, we've got the backhoe back on. Um, so I am going to bring a first shovel load down here to about this far to where we've reinforced this bank and we're going to see how things work up there with all the uh, chips that we've now added to the trail. All right, let's see how this goes. a couple of loads and then come down with the rake.
Well, I hope you've been enjoying today's video. And if you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it around. And if you've got any comments, thoughts, suggestions, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That would really help. All right, let's get back to work. Well, that's not bad. That's good, I like it. We're getting a bit of a bank. I think we're actually close enough to try backing down here to get at this rock with the backhoe. I think maybe I'll put a, uh, because I'm on an angle, I think maybe I'll put a uh, big rock in the shovel uh, on the front end loader before backing down. And then, uh, then we'll try it and we'll see what happens. May actually be too close. Let's see what I can do. really rocking around on that one foot the whole tractor is skidding sideways. Well I just can't get a good enough footing where I feel comfortable on the side here. I'm afraid of this slipping off the edge and then uh, causing some trouble. But I think I have the rock out 
far enough now that I can get a hold of it with the grapple. So what we're going to do is uh, go back up, take the bucket off, and put the grapple on, and hopefully we can pull it out doing that. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, this makes all kinds of sense to me. Let's hope it makes sense to the rock. Well, that's great. So I got a big hole to fill in, but that's not a big deal. We'll take care of that pretty quickly. There's my rake. All right. So I'm gonna drop a couple of smaller rocks in here and that kind of thing. Uh, before I come down with uh, some more soil. But yeah, that's really good. I'm very pleased with that. Another uh, pretty amazing job for that teeny little tractor. All right, let's get some rocks in this hole and some dirt on top of it. And that's another big step to getting this path clear. Yeah. Excellent. Well, there we are, folks. Another day on the trail and on the uh, off-grid cabin site. It's coming along very nicely. And I'm pretty much to the point now where I'm happy with the condition of the trail. And I'll concentrate now on getting the site for the off-grid cabin level. Now, it is gonna be a very small cabin. Uh, the footprint will be about 10 by 12, but the front four feet of it will be porch. So it will be uh, about 10 by eight on the inside. And I don't need anything very big. This is just uh, a little escape out here and a workshop where I can uh, keep tools and equipment and a fun little project to work on. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video, folks. And if you've been finding the videos interesting or at least a little bit entertaining, please give them a like and share them around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. Maybe one more load down here and then that should be it.